So one time when I was out in a shop, I encountered this really interesting issue with a Prius much like this one. It, it was towed in for a no start and it also had a couple codes in there for the accelerator pedal having an issue. So the techs had already gone through and diagnosed the codes and repaired the problem with the accelerator, but the car still wouldn't start. So I was already there helping them out with something else and they came over and asked me, hey, is there some sort of reset, relearn, something we need to do to finish this job to make this car start so we can get it out of here? So I said, well, I'm not really sure. I haven't really worked on too many of these hybrid cars before, right? So I said, well, let's just double check with your scanner. Went in, checked for a couple functional tests. There wasn't anything there for it. So I said, well, while we're here, let's go into the troubleshooter and check and see if there's a tip on that. So I'm gonna walk you through what we did. Okay, so we were in the engine system. So we went into engine and then we just popped right into troubleshooter, like I said, engine troubleshooter. And I decided to look under symptom tips because I know they got different types of tips in there. Starting problems, well, got a problem starting the car, right? So we'll go in there and found a couple different ones. And this one caught my eye, it was restart after out of gas. So we went in there. These hybrid vehicles may exhibit a no ready light and it's a push button start, so it needs a ready light to start. If the customer drives the vehicle out of gas, causing a no start condition after refueling. Could store some various codes, but you will need to exit the troubleshooter and enter each of these modules in this order. Clear the codes in each, then attempt to start. So we have to go into the hybrid ECU first, then the hybrid battery, then the engine ECU, and try to start the engine. So I said, well, that's pretty quick. So exit out of the troubleshooter, go into the hybrid control system, hybrid ECU, clear codes, yes. Okay, and then go back into the battery, clear codes, okay, and then back into the engine, clear codes, okay. Done. That quick. And wouldn't you know it, the car started right up. Now, this kind of took place in an out of the way area. They were about an hour away from the nearest Toyota dealership and they were really close to putting it on the back of their flatbed tow truck, tying up their tow truck driver for a couple hours to drive it back and forth, however long they would have spent at the dealer, plus however much the dealer would have charged them. So that little tip right there just saved them a ton of time and a ton of money just by checking in that troubleshooter, and that's in all the scan tools, right? So definitely a good choice to check the troubleshooter when in doubt.